Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. I'm fine. Thank you. Sit down. Thank you. You you always say like that. It's like automatic. <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you. Although uh, there is a test and we haven't finished reading yet, so you are not fine, really, right? <laughs> and uh, may I ask about how you spend your last weekend? Did you join the bike for mom? Did you join the program? No. So how did you spend your weekend, your Sunday? Is it was it a beautiful Sunday? Yes. Yes. What did you do? I play the piano. How about you? I clear my homework. Homework. Oh, very good student. Today, I have got a lesson that you can see on the screen. You see, going on holiday. Although we are still during the term and after the midterm, not ready for the holiday yet. But the, the topic in your book is about traveling, right? So going on holiday, uh, I have got some photos for you. <laughs> can you can you guess what it is? Where is it? Pattaya. Yeah. <laughs> you see, you see Pattaya, right? Mm. And. There are many places, many beautiful places in Thailand we can go on holiday. For example, where is it? Ah, you don't know. Suratani. Is there any student from Suratani? Yes, you know where it is. You can tell your friends. What is it called? Can you hear her? Okay, and what is uh, famous for? What is it famous for? Do you know? The clear, clean water, right? Beautiful view. And this one. Is there anyone from Phuket? No, no, no one. You see, beautiful. Eh? La Chaburi, protein market. Ah, and the last one, where is it? Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya. You will go uh, on a field trip to Ayutthaya when you are M6, you know. Yeah, that is the trip organized by the school. Every year we go to Ayutthaya. What, what do you know about Ayutthaya? The, World Heritage, Maladok Lo, right? Mm. Because it has got a lot of very old temples, ancient temples. Mm. <laughs> How many places that I have shown to you? Five? That's why I put you into five groups, you see. So today, I would like to tell you about the, the theme, the topic is going on holiday, and I have Plan, three lesson plans that include a city profile, and then travel plan. And if you were a guide to tell you how to use if clause or conditional tense. Okay, so let's start from number one, a city profile. You know how to do, how to make a city profile. So. I will let you see the video clip of the two teachers talking about Bangkok and then you have to complete Bangkok profile. But what you, what you have to do after that will be not Bangkok profile but any other city or province in Thailand. You know, I have got many documents for you to search for the information, and then I show you the example. This is Hua Hin or Sha'am. So you can make profile of any city you like, but as a group, each group will have to come up with one profile. Okay? 
Mm. And what else? When you, uh, while listening to the video video clip, you have to listen and try to remember as many words as you can, so that you can make use of the words in your profile. Okay, and there will be a quiz after that on the vocabulary, the new words that you learn from the clip. So many things to do, huh? So many things to do. At that M is little mark. <laughs> so many things to do. Okay, are you ready? Yes. yes. So Matthew, what did you read about Bangkok? Uh, well, Adam, it's the biggest city in Thailand. It's been the capital of the country for 200 years. Wow. Uh, it's located on the banks of the Chao Phraya River, and the city has about 11 million people wow, very who cool. are mostly Buddhist, which is why they have so many temples. Um, oh, and of course, they also have ancient, beautiful palaces and quite a number of floating markets as well. Mm -hmm. How can you remember all of this information? You sound like a reporter from a documentary film. Well, Adam, it's all online on the website for the Tourism Authority of Thailand, or TAT. By the way, do you have any information about tourist activities in Bangkok? Of course, of course. We have to go and see the Grand Palace, obviously. Apparently, it's the most fascinating place in the country. Plus, it's next to an ancient temple. I don't know if you heard about it. It's called the um, Emerald Buddha Temple. Oh, yeah, mm. yeah. And after visiting both of those, um, we can take a cruise on the Chao Prey River. Everyone says it's fascinating. That sounds amazing. Let's go right now. Yeah. Cool. Well, hold on. Calm down a minute. There's still many more spectacular, uh, spectacular places to go and see that are typically Thai. Um, like the Reclining Buddha Temple. Um, we can go there and pay respect to a huge reclining Buddha. And we can also learn how to do a Thai massage. I love Thai massages. Mm. You know? And uh, we can go up to the top of the Golden Pagoda and see the uh, beautiful, panoramic, uh, spectacular views. Mm. And um, I really want to go and see just how exotic Thailand Chan floating market is as well. All right? Mm. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, sounds good. Can you recognize who the teachers are? So these are Matthew and Adam. And Adam is from London, but Matthew is from America. So we have got many foreign teachers. Uh, how did you understand the, the dialogues between the two guys? OK, can you remember some new words that you have learned? Yes, yes, OK. And what are they talking about? Bangkok. Bangkok. So you can feel in the profile, right? Just a brief one, like this. Okay. Ah, who want to fill in the first blank? Bless your hand. Okay. Two hundred years. Very good. <laughs> Let's give him a big hand. This is for you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. How about number two? What is the answer for number two? Chao Near the Chao Phraya River, on the bank of the Chao Phraya River. Very good. <laughs> you get one candy. Ah, how about number three? Around 11 million people. Around 11 or about 11 million people. Very good. <laughs> you have done a good job. Ah, the last one. You know the word relation. What does it mean? Sasana. Sasana. Very good. Okay. And what is the answer for Buddhist. Buddhism? Mm, right. Buddhist means the person who believes in Buddhism, and Buddhism is the relation. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> the next one. So each group you have to compete with your friends. Okay. Which group can remember as many words? or more, what we call more than your other groups, then you will be the winner, right? How many words can you remember? Right now, or, or we can divide the board into five columns and see which one will be the winner, okay?
Okay. I give you some, uh, maybe a few minutes to discuss and come up with a list of the words. Same time, you can. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's continue with our city profile, Bangkok profile. You have given to me four answers already. So the next one will be tourist attractions. So can you remember what are the tourist attractions, the place that uh, both Adam and Matthew want to go? Who? Ah, okay. Very good, protein market. Get one candy. And the next one, number six. What is another tourist attraction? Okay. <laughs> Which one? Lady first. Ah, lady first. The Grand Palace. The Grand Palace. Okay. Very good. Number seven. What is it? Chao Phaya River. The Chao River. Is it an attraction? Or uh, the Chao Phaya River boat trip? You can say that the boat trip along the Chao Phaya River can be uh, an attraction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ah, the last one. What is it? The last one. Is there anyone who can remember? How about the temple? What poor? What poor? Yes, really good. Oh. The Grand Palace, right? Emerald Buddha Temple, and the Reclining Buddha Temple, or uh, what poor? They also the Phu Khao Thong, right? Yeah. They mentioned Phu Khao Thong. Okay. Thank you for giving a lot of words on the board, you see, each group came up with many words, but these are the new words that you have to learn more how to use in context, okay? So I will give you the handout, which contain the, the exercise, complete these sentences with the words given, okay? Help me. Okay, let's get back to the your work, the hornyanoi, the work. Uh, which group come up with the most words will be the winner. Okay, which which one? The first group one, group one, thirty-two words. Congratulations. 
<laughs> Very good. Okay. So you have got so many words, and I hope you can remember the meaning also, not only the words, the meaning and how to use the words in context. And have you done the exercise completing sentence, sentences? Okay, finished already? Okay, and number one, the high price has decreased the attractiveness of condo owning. So the first one will be Attractiveness. Although you do listen to, when you listen to the clip, you can hear the word attractive, right? But here, I want you to know more about attractive. So we, we have another one, not only attraction, you, you heard the word attraction, right? Uh, the players or the thing that attract your attention, we call attraction. But attractiveness, what does it mean? What does it mean? Attractiveness. What do you do? Quam Ah, yes. It's a noun of attractive. Dung do jai. Dung do quam som jai. Dung do jai. We call attractive, right? And this is the noun, attractiveness. So, uh, the high price, la ka sung, and decrease. What does, what does decrease mean? Not long. Not long. High price decrease the attractiveness of condo owning. So all together, you know the meaning of the sentence. ราคาสูงทำให้เป็นไงคะคนไม่กล้าซื้อใช่ไหมความการการซื้อการเป็นเจ้าของคอนโดก็เลยลดลงนะคะโอเค number two. Hill tribe people have inhabited. What does it mean? Hill tribe. You know hill tribe. Chao Khao and inhabit. What does it mean? Inhabit. Asai you live. Inhabit means asai you live. And the way that you have to learn how to, what we call, the right way to learn new words is to know the whole family, right? For example, In habit is a verb to live in, to stay in, right? And inhabitant, what does it mean? Inhabitant and habitat is also a noun. T U R S I, yes, really good. T U R S I and Kon T U R S I, right? Sat Lu Kon T U R S I, the T I T N. Nicole, this is the, the right way to learn all the family so that you can do word formation. Like in last test, you remember <laughs> the Mitchell <laughs> test, and you cannot do, you couldn't do very well in the part we call word formation. So each time you learn new words, you have to, to learn like this. Attract as a verb, right? And Attraction as a noun. Mm. Attractive, adjective, and also attractiveness. This is the way that you are supposed to learn new words, you know. Not only one word, not only one at a time, but you have to learn the whole family and how to use each word so that you can complete with the right function and the meaning to go along with the sentence, you, know, you see? So number two, what is the answer for number two? Ancient, Ancient times, in the former time, in the past, long time ago. So And number three, my Australian friends told me that they found Thai food. What is the right answer? Exotic. Exotic means, what does it mean? แปลกต่างจากของเราใช่มั้ยแปลกต่างจากของเขาอย่างเงี้ยนะคะคือคนออสเตรเลียมองว่าอาหารไทยนี่แตกต่างจากบ้านเขา 
ก็เป็นเอ็กโซติกนะคะแปลกในความหมายแตกต่างคือไม่ใช่ความหมายลบนะไม่ใช่แปลกแบบ strange อย่างนี้ไม่ใช่นะคะอ่ะ number four they seem to be fascinated to hear about my daughter's travel in Britain so the answer is fascinated what does it mean fascinated หลงไหลสนใจอย่างมาก very interested in something number five In the first half, he scored two spectacular goals. Spectacular mean, mean, what does it mean? Spectacular. Really exciting. น่าตื่นเต้นนะคะน่าสนใจน่าตื่นเต้น Number six, a book or a film which is exciting. What is? The word for a thriller. A thriller. Thrill means excite. A thriller means a thriller. ซึ่งเรื่องหรือภาพยนตร์นะคะที่เกี่ยวข้องกับอาชญากรรมใช่ไหมเกี่ยวข้องกับเรื่องที่ตื่นเต้นหรือการแก้ปัญหาอาชญากรรม Seven. The hot and spicy food is some collectors that is typical. ลักษณะเฉพาะมีลักษณะเฉพาะเป็นอาหารของภาคใต้ของเราใช่ไหมจะจะเผ็ดหน่อยนะคะ Number eight from the hotel roof you can enjoy uh, of the whole city it's like a great view when when we see a what from from the the high building from the place that is high you can look all over the city right that that is called panorama and number nine she lived on only interest leaving her capital. The word capital here doesn't mean like the capital in the video clip. That is capital เมืองหลวง right? But here, what does it mean? How to learn new words, not only to know as a family, but to know different meanings in different contexts. For example, capital can be ตัวอักษรใหญ่ใช่ป่ะ Capital letter, เมืองหลวง and here. What does it mean? The meaning in this context. In this example, it means money. Capital can be can mean money, right? Uh, so when you when you learn some new words, you have to know not only one meaning because there are many meanings for each word. For example, exhaust. What does it mean? What is it? อ่า use up ใช้หมดแปลว่า tired ทำให้เหนื่อย exhausted แปลว่า tired right and what else ท่อไอเสียใช่ป่า exhaust can be ท่อท่อไอเสีย right so three meanings you see so from now on you have to be careful when you learn new words And select the right meaning in the context. Okay. Ah, the last one. So the last word. Capital. Do you know where are popular? Ah, in the clip you know the word. Cruise. But here, it's like an adjective. ใช่ไหมที่ที่สำหรับไปล่องไปแล่นเรือไปล่องเรือนะคะโอเค who got all the ten words the ten answer correct well many students oh how smart you are must be gifted in English uh, what city or what province you would like to do to make the profile Okay, come on. Select some. เอาไปหมดเลยเอาคืนมากไปหมดเลยนะอะไรอันก็ได้ค่ะสาหัวอินเกาะช้าง Can you use เกาะช้าง Any group. Interested in Gotshan?
There is only about five minutes left, so you have to be in a rush. Would you like more? Okay, I think you are ready for the presentation about your the, uh, your province or city profile. Okay, starting from group one, who will be the representative? Okay. Would you like to show some photos? Oh. Phuket is often referred as the pearl of the Andaman and it's south of Bangkok and it's 867 kilometers from Bangkok. It's the largest island of the Thailand and it's 21 kilometers wide. It's very famous for its coastline because they are very beautiful. Tourist attractions like where to get it and uh, the pearl farms. Yes. Your friends can add. Would you like to add more information? Yeah, let's help him. Okay, um, you can go by plane, by bus, or by car. If you go by car, you have to wait, not, not wait, you have to go about um, 12 hours because it's very long. Very good question. He asked about how to get there, right? Transportation. So your, your profile can include transportation, not only location, where it is, right? Mm. Where is it? And how to get there. If you go by bus, it will be air conditioned. <laughs> <laughs> and you will feel too. You can go deep sea fishing and snorkeling. Scuba diving and swimming is also. This is a picture and it looks so beautiful. <laughs> what is the highlight of that place? Or how about, would you, wouldn't you like to know about the climate, the weather? There are two main seasons, the rainy season and the hot season. Weather. You can go sailing, windsurfing, water skiing and golf. Group, group two. Okay. Pattaya is the city that located in the south of Thailand, about 150 kilometers from Bangkok. It's a very beautiful city with uh, many of nightlife and uh, the nature and the beach is very good. The tourist attraction that have many things like the beach, like Hat Pattaya Hat. And <laughs> this is this are the example of the tourist section. Uh, and the other section is like underwater world Pattaya. The Battle Art Museum, the Pattaya Park. And this is only the this uh, only the example of the tourist section in terms of there are so many places that you have to visit if you go there. Uh, how to get? How you can go there? 
you can go by car. Uh, it's about one and a half hour drive from Bangkok. And if you go by bus, it's two and a half hour journey from Bangkok. And you can take a regular buses leaving from Bangkok Eastern Bus Terminal for Ekamai. And by train, the train is leave at about 6 55 a.m. and take about 3.5 hours to, Pat to Pattaya. And if, and if you want some souvenir, the souvenir is the gems, jewelry, silk, cotton, handicap, and element clothing. Thank you. Any question, any question you would like to ask about Pattaya? No? <laughs> Do you know how many people are there in Pattaya? Five. Oh, wow. Population? 500. 500. Really? According to the brochure, or you just guess? Guess. Guess? guess. guess. Just a guess? How many? I think more than 500. 500. Ah, group 3. Are you ready? Today we're going to introduce you to this fascinating province of Gantanaburi. It is the province, the largest province in Thailand, which is located on the west of Bangkok, about um, 130 kilometers um, from Bangkok. You can go there by driving. It is the most appropriate, appropriate way to go there. It is just like two hours from Bangkok. So the attractions in Kanchenaburi, it is famous for waterfalls and caves. Um, it is also contain World War II museums because uh, Kanchenaburi province is a pathway of Japanese soldiers during World War II. And today there is an open museum which tourists can come to. And also, everyone waterfalls and Namtok Hui Khamin. It is like famous tourist attractions there of Gantanaburi. And Gantanaburi also have also has ball ploy or jewelry mine. You can go visit there and get some jewelry for a souvenir. So it also have some hot springs which you can go to to okay that too. Thank interesting information about Kanchanaburi, so she makes us feel like going there, right? Okay, the next one. Okay, today we will present about Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya is a historical culture and world heritage. The province is extremely important as it was the Siam capital for four centuries. This province is relatively small at 2,557 square kilometers and is easily accessible due to good road, rail and river connection and is proximity to Bangkok. So it's about tourist attraction. It's called Gat Pari. National Museum. Wat Param and Wat Payasi Sapan. And it's special events in the museum. Red Bansai Arts, Inter Center Fair, ladies January. The fair held annually in January at Bansai Arts, Inter Center displays product of HM The Queen Support Program. There are some exotic food in Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya noodle, which tastes really umami and unique sweet lotus saimai. And the special event thing is Burgoy Pu Muay Thai Ceremony. It takes place in 17 March at Harnakosi Ayutthaya Historical Park. The project focuses on Muay Thai and has further developed this practice within its historical culture cultural context into an international culture activity. There are some many fantastic things and amazing I would like you to come to Utria. Thank you. Okay, listening to the group, uh, group four. 
then I got an idea about attractions, you see. Can be places about uh, that attract people to go, or the beautiful nature, or the view, or the scenery, or the events that we, that is organized at that place can attract people to to see the events or the festival. How people celebrate the festival, for example, in the Konsa one, when when we have Chinese New Year, you see, it's a big celebration that people want to go to see it. That, that's also a kind of attractions. So attractions doesn't mean only the place, like temple or the waterfall. It can be many things. Okay. Okay. The last group, group five. one part, the first part of going on holiday. Now you have known many places that we can go on holiday, right? To the south, to the north, to the west, to the east, and many, many directions and many places that are interesting that we can enjoy ourselves visiting the place. And what else that you learn from the lesson? Going on holiday and the main point of the lesson is Bangkok profile, right? I gave you I gave you the example of profile, a city profile that is Bangkok profile. So you can have the example how to make the profile of other city or other province as you have done. And you have done a, a good job. Okay. So uh, this is to sum up our lesson. When you make the profile, remember the, the keywords, right? The city profile, then you have to, to try to make conclusion on the information you have read. There, are, there is a lot of information about each place, right? So we have to make conclusion on the location and how to get there or uh, how about the climate or the weather in that place so that you can prepare your clothes, right? And the attractions, what can you see in that place? What is it famous for? Can, you can see the, the beautiful beach, mm, the clean water, the clear and clean water, or see the waterfall, or uh, how many people live there, population can be included in the profile also. Mm. Is there any point that you think you should add to the profile? Food. Is there any? Food. food. Ah, yes, very good. The typical food of the province, right, can be the, the traditions or the festival in that area. And the food, or uh, what people enjoy doing. Another thing, what is it? 
Hmm? Hotel, hotel, the accommodations, tea park, right? And what else? Especially girls or women prefer when wherever we go, we we want to shop, <laughs> go shopping, right? So we have to know what are the or top or products of that province that we can buy things back home. Okay, what else? Accommodation. Shopping, food, okay. So uh, for the next time that you are asked to make a profile of a city, then you know how to do it, right? Can you do it? Yes. And then you can do it better than the first time. This is the first time, so maybe you don't know how to, to make it complete or better, then can be next time. Okay, see you. Sign up, please. Later. Thank you, teacher. Okay.